This man always gave coins to this homeless person, but once he knew his story, he was shocked. The story you'll see in this video happened in the United States. Its hero is a young man named Saul Brown. Stay with us until the end of the video to learn about his strange yet inspiring story. It all started in New York in late 2005. Saul went there to work as an assistant lawyer. He wanted to earn more money during the holidays to be able to pay for his studies. During lunch, Saul would go outside to eat in a restaurant that offers inexpensive meals to save money. This was his daily routine. There, Saul noticed that a homeless man always hung around the place. Every day, the young man bought a hamburger and a sausage roll. Because the restaurant owner accepted only cash, Saul used to bring coins and bills with him, and after eating, he'd leave the change to the homeless man. He could have bought something else with the money, but he didn't and preferred to help the poor man named Frank instead. As he passed by, he said to him, Hello, Frank, it's good to see you. With time, the two became close friends. Frank experienced a terrible situation in his life and seemed to be not relatively sane. However, he was well-behaved, modest, and kind. Two months later, Saul went out to buy food as usual, but realized he'd forgotten to bring the money. Without giving it a second thought, the man ran to the ATM, but was unable to withdraw money as the ATM wasn't working. The restaurant owner saw that and said to him, Look, I've seen what you do for Frank every day. Take this hamburger from me. You deserve it. At that moment, something even more unexpected happened. Even though it wasn't much, Saul decided to share the hamburger with Frank. The two happily ate their food and left. After three months of working, Saul had to go back to Pennsylvania to continue his studies. The day for the two friends to part ways had already come. Saul didn't expect he'd be so sad to leave Frank. Both wished to see each other again. After about five years, Saul returned to New York. Having finished his studies, the man became a lawyer and just got a new job. One day, he decided to have dinner at a random restaurant. Saul was sitting at a table with a laptop finishing some work. Suddenly, he heard a voice calling him from behind. Someone said, I'm sorry, do you remember me? The moment Saul turned around, he saw a tall, well-dressed man standing behind him. He looked him up and down for a few moments before he recognized who was in front of him. He said, Really? F Frank, is that you? The man's eyes began to fill with tears. Saul immediately stood up to shake his hand and hug him tightly. Frank was crying and all he could say was, Thank you. The two sat down and started chatting. The young man learned that Frank worked hard during the last five years and was able to lead a decent life. He could earn money, eat well, and have a place to call home. Doctors also helped restore his physical and mental health. According to Saul, Frank said that he was in his worst state the year they met. He didn't tell anyone about the depression he was feeling. The poor man was left alone with his dark thoughts devouring his sanity. The only thing Frank could do was sit and wait for his life to end. He also said that even his childhood was very tough. His parents left him alone and he lost his job. His wife went to another man, stealing all of his belongings and leaving him on the streets. He didn't want to live for another day. The attention I gave him was a valuable reminder that there was still something good in the world. With the money I gave him, he could eat at least once a day. He said that he wouldn't even be standing where he is now if it wasn't for me, Saul said. He then added, We talked for over an hour, but unfortunately, Frank had to get back to work. Before leaving, he hugged me again, and this time he couldn't hold back his tears. After chatting for a few more minutes, I started crying too. Frank never knew my name. He doesn't know it even now, and I'd like to keep it this way. But he'll remember that one day, a stranger treated him like a dear friend. It is undoubtedly a beautiful story. Sometimes when we see the homeless, we unconsciously avoid interacting with them, as if they're monsters or criminals. Yes, that's right. I'm not saying that all homeless people are good, but we all have a sense of sight that allows us to tell if that person deserves our help. Sometimes even a little help brings back lost faith and hope for the best.